breakfast. Finally having breakfast here at the hotel. We have. I just ate a leaf by accident. You ate a leaf from your strawberry? Mm -hmm. Silliness. Uh, we've got Mickey waffles, strawberries, orange juice. I already had my coffee in the up in our room. How does your orange juice taste? I don't know. I haven't tasted it yet. Too busy recording you. How cute is she? We're going to Animal Kingdom today. She's got her safari hat. Let me see the top of it. Yeah. Come on. And super cute earrings that one of our viewers sent to us. Tiger. Ooh la la. Is it yummy? Yeah. Mm. Right. Animal Kingdom. First stop, bathroom. <laughs> Then we're gonna go on the safari. All right, Mimi is gonna do a bit of recording. <laughs> you gotta look where you're going. So first we're gonna go on the safari. Yay. We're excited. Isn't this amazing, like being in a jungle? So bamboo. Just don't move around too fast or too bouncy. Okay. So we're hiking through the jungle. The ground is raw. Where will we end up? Probably at the rainforest. We're in right. the rainforest. Probably at the ride. Hopefully, huh? It's tough to be a bug. Tough to be a bug. I don't know, I said one time. Mom, it's not showing me any of that. What, babe? It's not showing me any of It does that to save battery. So it just turns off? No, it's still recording. You just can't see what you're recording. It does that to save the battery. Oh. Uh. Can't you feel how much sweatier it is here? Yeah. There's the tree of life. Show them the tree of life. Where? Right ahead. All right, we're gonna stop here and take a picture. Can you see the on this thing? How beautiful is that? Beautiful. Do you love it? Yeah. Oh, look, it's Bambi. What's that? Bambi. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's gold. Yeah. Uh, Mom? I want to record Bambi. Yeah, they do. So, that was the day then. <laughs> we had a fabulous breakfast. Nice. What did you have? Uh, Mickey waffles with syrup and butter. What else did you have? Strawberries and a teeny bit of orange juice. But we decided we didn't love it. Yeah. So, how's your day been so far? I just told you. <laughs> Here, we're Besides going this that. way. Besides that. Um, well, feeling pretty good. Huh. Plus, we're here, and that's always a good thing. <laughs> Look how right. pretty these are. Looks like a big mushroom, huh? Yeah. Hey, don't move too fast. You'll make them sick. All right, come on, baby. There's another one right here. Oh, because the There's some cheetahs up there. Oh, that's beautiful. Pizza Fari. That'd be good. <laughs> a garbage can with a tree on it. <laughs> Otter Grotto. We'll look at that after the safari. There's more of that same design. 
Oh, Mom, can we get some ice cream? Not right now. We're going on the safari. Oh, Plus, true. we just had breakfast. True. Tree of Life Garden. We'll look at that if you would like. Okay. okay. It's a giraffe. Somebody biffed it. Poor guy. Little guy. A toad. The things you choose to record. <laughs> it's a, it's just a different perspective. Ooh, butterflies. Mom, can we record a little bit of it? Um, we will. Butterfly exhibit. First, we've got to go get in line for the safari. Um, safari. We're going into Africa. And then after that, we'll go do Pandora. We're going into Africa. And then we can just look around at whatever you want. Mom, we're going into Africa. And eventually do Look's expedition Africa. Ooh. There's a crazy net. Okay, don't move around too fast. Okay. Pretty tree. So. <laughs> Why don't you show them where we're headed? Welcome to Harambe. Port in East Africa. <laughs> pork, not pork. I said pork. You said pork. Oh, okay. <laughs> Celebration of Lion King. We can watch it if you want. Not right now. No, not right now. And then later. Tamu Tamu. It's in our first thing. We got right on. My name is Samantha. Yeah. Didn't You're have to wait. Here today on the Ooh, it's bouncy. Reserve. Now a couple of friendly safety reminders before we do enter and into the yay, reserve. The Please be sure to dividers are gone that were here last time. Those, those social distance feet. dividers the that messed up the view. Well. And if you have those are gone. Lap, please make sure that they and that's wonderful. On and ear Please do not hold them up in the air. Switch laps at any time. This is for their safety. But now we have finally reached the reserve. We've entered into the reserve now. The first area is called the Lilitary Forest. If you look over here to our right-hand side, just up on the hill there, is an okapi. Now the okapi, if you look at their hind legs, they kind of look like they might be related to the zebra. However, though they are not, they are actually related to the giraffe. They have the same skeleton, except theirs is a lot smaller, as well as they have a very long prehensile tongue, just like the giraffe. That way they can grab those leaves off the trees. Exactly, you're missing the animal. Look, look. Eat it. Now, first, the antelope that you see hey here, guys. the light colored one, that is called the greater kudu, and the dark colored one, that is the bongo. Look at those antlers. Oh, my and lord. And here to the left is that black rhino. The black rhino is actually one of the smaller rhinos oh. here in Africa. They weigh up to 3,000 pounds. Now, unfortunately, there are less than 5,000 left in the world because of hunting and poaching for their horns as well as habitat destruction. So it's very important to look towards the Safi River. This is where more water-like animals like to live, so we're going to see what we can find out here in the waters. Mimi's got her safari hat. She's ready for adventure. It's bouncy. <laughs> All right. Now, if you look here to our right hand side, just in the waters there are some hippos. Now, hippos like to spend most of their day in the water, most of the time sleeping. It helps keep them nice and out there snoozing. Spend their day out here and in the water because out here in Africa it does get very hot. At night, it is a lot cooler and safer for them to head out of those waters to try to find food as well as socialize. You can see more hippos here to our left. Oh, they're out there snoozing all together. A group of hippos is called a bloat, so that is a bloat of hippos. Hippos are one of the top three largest animals here in Africa. A uh, full-grown male hip hippo can weigh up to 4,500 pounds. And even though they are rather large, they can actually outrun a human on land. And they only eat about 80 pounds of food a day, which is actually considered a small amount considering their body size. When it comes to um, hippos going from place to place, they will... Um, uh, 
Look at all these walk ferns. All the way up the, sink all the way to the bottom so of the river. So many beautiful and then ferns. Walk instead of just swimming. I love ferns. But they are pretty good swimmers as well. Now here to the left, you're gonna see the Nile crocodile. Now Nile crocodiles are oh. quite cool, but it's family. They, hanging out they over don't there? have any sweat glands really? to keep them nice and cool. Now in order for them to keep nice and cool, they'll either jump into the water or leave their mouths open, trying Ooh, to get some of that. This is body. gorgeous. Now speaking of their mouths, quick jaws are actually about 2,000 pounds strong per square inch and crush through bone. But even though they have these incredibly strong so jaws, those dividers are and gone. Dad Nile crocodile will actually hold their eggs in their mouth. This will encourage their little ones to hatch. All right, we're now heading to an entirely different ecosystem, the savanna grasslands. Now, this is home to some of the most famous animals, such as elephants, lions, and giraffes, so hopefully we can find a couple of those today. Here, just coming up to our right-hand side, is a very important tree that lives up here in the savanna. This is the baobab tree, also known as the upside-down tree and tree of life. Now, it gets that nickname because it kind of looks like it has its roots on the top there. Those are not its roots, though. It just remains leafless nine months out of the year, and it does this to try and maintain as much water as it can in those very large and swollen trunks. That way, during times of drought, it has a chance of survival. Now, also during times of drought, animals will actually poke holes into the baobab tree and try to get to some of the extra water, which of course hmm. saves them from dehydration during cool. those dry times. This is why it's so important we have those trees out here. They're a natural backup system for the animals. <laughs> all that moss I love it you actually see here to our right hand side they're kind of in between those bushes there those gray animals those are the white bearded wildebeest hopefully we're going to find some more a little bit further down wildebeest are actually found in one of the largest herds of migrating animals up to 1.5 million can be found in an entire herd and they'll migrate up to 500 to a thousand miles to try and find new sources of food and water so beautiful. Oh, my allergies, my allergies. Sniffle, sniffle. Here to our left-hand side, just in that cave there, you can see one, a couple of them laying down on the side right here. These are the African wild dogs, also known as painted dogs for their very unique markings. <laughs> painted dogs are one of the most successful predators out here in Africa, more successful than most large cats. 85% of the time, they capture their prey. Look at him go. Here they are in their bed. Now coming up over here to the left hand side, you're going to see this very large horned animal. This is the Ancoli cattle. Now the Ancoli cattle is one of two domesticated animals we have out here on the reserve. They were first domesticated by the Watusi tribe, which is why they're also called Watusi cattle. And you can see there's a giraffe here to our left hand side. We're going to see if we can find some more up ahead here. Looks like there's another one just up ahead. Now the large orange cone-like structures you see oh. around here, these are termite mounds. Termite mounds are made of saliva, dirt, and a little bit of dung, and will bask in the sun all day to become as hard as concrete. <laughs> Mimi, it's going to be right close on your side. Yeah. You excited? You'll see that other giraffe over here now to our Whoa. left hand side. Giraffes, oh, they are that? the tallest animals in the world. They can grow to be about 18 Aunt to 20 feet tall. Aunt Raquel the baby giraffe loves when giraffes. it's first born is actually about 6 feet tall. It also is about a 6 Isn't foot drop when it's first born. And that is because the mothers do give birth standing up. It's not a bad thing though. The drop to the ground is very important. It will help kickstart the baby's lungs. And then a baby giraffe can start to walk within an hour of its life. Yeah. Oh, mommy. It's over here on this half like, look. See him? Hi, honey. Hello. Now, right over here, coming up to our right-hand side, my personal favorite, the African oh, elephant. Hi. 
Now to the left hand side, there are some monkeys. They're kind of in the back there. Those are the mandrels. They are the largest monkeys in the world. This is also what Rafiki is. He is a mandrel. See a couple of them are all kind of spread out over here. Do you see the monkeys, Mommy? As you can see, there are two elephants over here to our right hand side. We'll come around the corner and get a better view of the other one that's on the other side here. Now, of course, we can tell that they are the African elephants by the size of their ears, which are rather large and also kind of in the shape of Africa. Now, when they get hot, they like to flap those ears back and forth, just like this one's doing right now. It gets a nice breeze going. It also gets their blood vessels going and pumping, and this will cool them down at least by 15 degrees. So their blood vessels in their ears cool them down by a lot. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, it is. That's basically what it's doing is fanning, we'll continue moving fanning them. We can find some more elephants nearby. But I guess a little more than that. Unfortunately, huh? elephants they are on the endangered list. Unfortunately, this is due to hunting and poaching for their tusks, which are made of ivory, as well as losing a lot of their homes to habitat destruction. As you can imagine, elephants require a lot of space to live. Elephants, they are migrating animals. So they do go from place to place to find new sources of food and water. So they do migrate from place to place. Unfortunately, sometimes there are buildings built in the middle of where they migrate to. Uh, so this is not only dangerous for the elephants, but also dangerous for those humans. So this is uh, why it's important that we have our reserves so that people don't build uh, on areas that animals live, as well as um, to try to protect as much as the uh, as um, much as nature as we can out here in Africa. See another elephant to our left hand side here. Hello, elephant. <laughs> Just out there hanging out. So Uh-oh, we're driving through the water. Oh my goodness. We're driving through the water. Now right over here coming up to our left-hand side are the greater flamingos. These are the largest wow. and lightest pink of flamingo species. They grow to be about five feet tall. Now when they are first born, they are not pink, they are actually gray. They get their pink feathers later on from part of their diet, which contain a brine shrimp. The brine shrimp contain a special protein called carotene, which is what makes those feathers turn pink. Whoa, what's that elephant doing? He's running. I wonder where he's going. Alright, now we do have a little bit of a blockage in the road. Just up ahead is a rhino. Oh my it's not god. It's for us to proceed um, unless until the rhino does move. We want to make sure that we keep that rhino safe. So we're going to just wait for it to uh, get out of the way here. You okay, huh? Let me just say with each other, go. You gotta stay sitting. Do you love those? Yeah. Are they the coolest thing? If Kit were here, she would be so happy. We'll tell her. And I took pictures. Oh, I didn't know that. Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Why does it have that kind of neck? Oh, and there goes elephant. Alright, right now 
we are just waiting for that white rhino that is just up ahead over here. And then once the white rhino has gotten out of the way, um, we'll be able to get hopefully a good view of the white rhino and hopefully maybe there's some more white rhinos in the area as well. Because white Oh my goodness. And as you can see, we have now found some more white rhinos in this area. It looks like there's actually a very young white rhino right here in part of this group. Wow. You can see right over here. Now, another thing um, about white rhinos is they do have something in common with black rhinos. Unfortunately, they are also being hunted and poached uh, for their horns. So it's very important that we try to help and protect them as well since they are endangered. Luckily, their numbers aren't as low as the black rhinos, but it is a pretty low number. There they go on the road again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is there one from Safari 31? <laughs> He's coming back. I'm just gonna walk up the road. <laughs> and like I said, they are endangered animals. They are very smart though. Um, even though they are walking in the road, they kind of don't know that there are people trying to get by. This is their homes. We are just in the middle of their homes and they're just trying to go around and find some grass to eat for breakfast. It is cool that we get to see them though, um, because usually you'll see them napping every once in a while, uh, but they're now right now just active, so it's really cool to see, especially cool to see that very young white rhino there. Now there are uh, actually a couple different types of white rhinos. There's the northern white rhino and the southern white rhino. We have the southern white rhinos here. Uh, unfortunately, there's only two northern white rhinos left in the world. Both of them are unfortunately females. We are They are trying their best though to try and see if they can take um, from the old male that recently passed away and try to make babies with those um, females. That way we can try to bring that number up. It is still very possible, um, but unfortunately there are still only two northern white White rhinos left. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was fun. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh, Mimi? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and right over here to the left hand side. Now everybody, shh, 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 shh. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. As you can see, there is a very beautiful male lion and you heard him roar. They can actually roar a little bit louder than that. The roars can be heard up to five miles. There are two females here as well. the one that was roaring. As you can see. No, there's two right there. I know, but the one making noise, that's the male. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's so cool. Now right over here in front of us are some ostrich, now in the road. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Unfortunately, the um, ostrich are not as smart as the white rhino. So we're gonna have to wait here a bit. This is the best ride ever. Oh my God, this is the best. <laughs> Look at it. it just turns and looks at us. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> he just stands there. <laughs> Out of the way, Doby. <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky. 
Mimi. And I always, you like, can see there are ride. ostriches up ahead here, but just past those ostriches there are also some warthogs. So we got a pretty good view over here. Oh yeah, um, there's a warthog over there They are the largest too. birds in the world. They do also lay the largest eggs. These are females, and the way, way we can tell that these are females is by the color of their feathers. Now the females are actually the ones with the gray feathers, while the males are the ones with the black <laughs> That's feathers. Too funny. <laughs> So, um, we might be able to find some eggs around here. <laughs> now, even though they are comes birds, the truck and, as again. you can see, they have wings, uh, they cannot fly. Um, they're too heavy to fly. No, However, they are, my feet. Um, they are um, very fast. They're actually the fastest animal with seven legs. They can go up to 45 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> Oh, he's making noises. Oh, there comes another! <laughs> to make a um, stop and make him look bigger when it comes to um, <laughs> fighting other ostrich and stuff and other animals to scare them off. That's what they use their uh, wings for. Watch the whole flock or herd or whatever they're called comes out. Hangs out on the road. <laughs> right? They just sit down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And then there's the truck. He's like, come on. It's really cool. We actually get to just sit here and enjoy the animals. It because is. As this you know, so this awesome. is an attraction where it keeps on going around. But at least we were able to sit and really enjoy a lot of the <laughs> animals like, we see out here. We can see a bit of their personalities, learn a little they bit more care. about them as we sit here. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. And there's other safaris waiting behind us. Yeah. I'm glad we're not in line. That would suck to be in line right now, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like in line to when you're not even on the ride yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got out. Or she. You can see their feet over there. They got out. They're like waving something. Out. Oh no, it's food. They gave him some food. Yeah, because look, there he's eating now. Whatever. How do you know? You don't know. Oh, well, you were listening. I wasn't listening. I was too excited. <laughs> There's actually um, three ostrich here. Um, three? <laughs> a little hard to see, but one's just past the bushes right here. We're going to go pulley pulley, which means very slowly this way. Maybe we can also try to encourage them to uh, just get out of our way slightly. As we do pass this area, though, you will see that there are warthogs here to our left. There goes the truck. <laughs> the now, as we do also go, go down this far, pathway knows, here, we might need um, again. the ostrich are here to our left, but those white rhinos are back over here to our right hand side. Hey, birds. <laughs> And there's the rhinos again. And there's the truck. He won't go far. He knows better. <laughs> Bye, ostriches. <laughs> Let's see what right. animal gets in front of the truck next. Now we have passed those uh, areas right. over there. <laughs> we have now made it to one of the warden's posts. Hopefully some less animal stops will be in front of us because at the warden's post there's not going to be so many animals in this area because this is a place um, where we just keep an eye, a close eye on them. You will see though that here there are some goats to our uh, left hand side. These are the Nigerian dwarf goats. They actually provide us with milk, which is considered to be very valuable and nutritious. That's why we have those goats here on this uh, this little um, area. We like to provide our own resources. We do not take from the local wildlife. We're just here to protect it. So that's why we have uh, goats and why we grow our own food as well. But now we have reached the end of the reserve, which means it is almost the end of the safari. No more animal stops because there are no more animals just up ahead unless we get stopped by a squirrel.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind to all animals. <laughs> but now we get to make our way back. Thank you guys again for your patience. I hope you've enjoyed, though, uh, what you've seen here. You learned a little bit more and seen a little bit more of the animals' personalities. As you can see, they all have individual personalities and they all have feelings. And so it's very important that we try and help to protect them. You can donate to conservation organizations. That's actually a great way, probably the easiest way to um, help out animals. There's a conservation here at Disney called the Disney Conservation Fund. So you can go up to any merchandise location and ask how to give. You can even just give simply a dollar, and, uh, and Disney actually matches you dollar for dollar. The warden is ready for us, so if you have any questions for me, feel free to come up to my window and ask. But here at Harambe, we don't like to say goodbye. It's far too sad and final. Instead, we say Quaharini, which means go well. So Quaharini friends, go well, go wild, and enjoy the rest of your day. Quaharini. That was awesome. We were so lucky. That was so cool. Huh, Mimi? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So cool. Good morning. Mimi wants to go visit Gorilla Falls. That was the coolest ride ever. Oh my God. Uh-oh, no bananas. And you wanted to get a banana. No, I didn't. You wanted fruit. No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, you did. I think you have a memory problem. <laughs> Remember? I want some fruit. Well, I've got an apple. Oh, I don't want fruit. <laughs> I want ice cream. Sound familiar? Oh, no. Look up there, Mom. They're up there. Oh, those are something else. Those aren't gorillas. They're something else. I think they're lemurs. What a beautiful morning. Wow, that was a perfect way to start the day, that ride. My goodness. That was so special. See all the animal footprints? Yeah. Eee. I love all these little details. Oh, beware of buffalo. You watch out for them? Yeah, let's watch out. Okay. I mean, I think we'll be okay, but you never know. Look. Oh, we saw him on the safari. So think of it like a uh, light shining through the blinds at your house. It makes that like shadow effect. So that's how it's supposed to look like through like when trees and stuff. Like oh, oh, how about that? Weird. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Like Mom, look how big that head is. That's very cool. Legs. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Is that their head? So the one on the left is a giraffe and the one on the right oh my is God. a okapi. And they have tons of similarities. So this is going to be a boy okapi because it has ossicones. Okay. So for girls, both boys and girls have ossicones. Wow. Oh, not look like a giraffe anymore. I love it. So creepy. Are these real schools? No, these are actually 3D printed from recycled material. Are you serious? Oh, that's awesome. So can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Oh. So it's um, it's really cool. We take a bunch of like MRIs and X-rays and stuff, and that's how we create the mold. Put it into the. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh, I would have thought it was see. real. Well, now that you touch it, though, you can feel. Yeah. Yeah. Can these teach them? Do you notice that they're all um, they're all like molars? Yeah, because they eat lots of vegetation. So that's how you can tell if it's a carnivore or a herbivore is by their teeth. Ah, uh, so he's got molars too yeah so they're red, red, uh, herbivores uh -huh. so when they have those big like sharp teeth that's when they're uh canine or carnivores and they want to eat you mm -hmm. <laughs> but what's funny is, is that gorillas have really sharp teeth in the front and oh i didn't have, know that yeah and they have molars like this in the back but they only are herbivores the only reason why they have the big teeth in the front is for protection and to rip off bark from trees and that's how they get hydrated throughout the day. Gotcha. Oh, look, there's more school. But if they get really mad. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Oh, ugh. boy. If you want to learn about animals, this is the place to learn about animals. Are these things real? 
No, I bet they're the same like she said. They can do anything with those 3D printers now. What? The 3D printers. Good. It's amazing what they can do now. Okay. All right, let's go up here. Asante Sana. You didn't know you were going to go hiking, huh? Uh -uh. A little wilderness explorer. Right? Uh -oh. oh, tie your shoe. Fish, waterfalls, birds galore. We can't stay here very long because we're really allergic to birds. In fact, I can already feel it. But I do want to see, darn it. Looks like we're in the movie, The Birds. <laughs> Come on, Nene. Hello. Wow. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. I didn't know they ate lettuce. Yeah. Mom, they some fish. yeah. What are they doing? Who's that? The hammer cock. So we, um, we have big brown birds. We only come to eat it like this every so often. It's only the bird meat and the lettuce and things like that. Gotcha. Where? Up on this tree. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, but they're upside down. Yeah. Okay. They're just doing it anyway. That's kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> kind of drone like, huh? They just acting on instinct. With bachelor pads. A little man cave nest. Yeah. Why not? Try these ones. Oh, that's fun. What song are you doing? Huh? Now we got a whole band. We are in Pandora. We're gonna grab some ice cream and then get in line for the Navi River journey. Place is jumping. 
we only have a few rides that we have to do so we're in no hurry we're gonna take our time but Mimi really wants an ice cream look at her melting where's your melting face uh. <laughs> How beautiful is this? They have to stay in this side of here or over there. Yeah. We wish we knew what they were saying. Me too. Would you want to be one of them? Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> you climb across the, ride, the ropes? Mm -hmm. When I was here uh, last time, one of them was out going across the ropes. Really? Uh-huh. It was really cool. How come there's only two though? What? How come there's only two though? I don't know. <laughs> they sure are noisy. <laughs> See, there he goes. That's so crazy. And he doesn't even care. He's just hanging out. Doesn't bother him at all. That's amazing. So cool. Would you stay there? Huh? Would you yeah, heck yeah. You want to pet it? What did you say? Oh, but what did you say before that? Okay. He sure is noisy. 
<laughs> it's kind of funny, huh? It's like, pay attention to me. Reminds me of my kids. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the video and see what you said. What, what, what would I have said? That he was like us. That it was like you? That it was like my kids? Yeah. Yeah, that might have been what I said. <laughs> Is it kind of true sometimes? No. No? Well, except for Reagan. Oh, wow. Okay, sure. Bye bye, furry, amazing daredevil friends. That was awesome. What was that? That was awesome. What'd we go on? Expedition Everest. Expedition, well, Expedition Everest. Yep, Expedition Everest. Mimi had been scared and she was saying, oh, I'm not going to go on that. But then she went. And it's awesome. You guys should go on it. And she wants to go on it again. But for now, we are going to um, leave the parks. To uh, get the pizza. We're going to go get pizza. Rest. Or, rest. And rest. This is our really and short we, park stay. Um, you know, six days in the parks. It's quite a bit. And without a day of, of rest in between. So this will be our rest park day. Um, we might do a little bit of grocery shopping. We might go swimming. Right, Mimi? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, possibly come back to, uh, here tonight. And do a finish and Everest again. Yeah. Except nope. in the dark. In the dark. Oh. No guarantees on that. We'll see how we're feeling. I don't twist it around my ears. It's all loose. Yeah. So we did Everest. We're heading I out. Everest. Mimi conquered it, and then she pointed out that this guy was over here eating. And I wanted to get the I conquered the Everest shirt. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, where's it going? I didn't think it's So neat. He just just hanging out. He's got food in one foot, hand. But whatever. But. Taking it along, a snack snack for over there in the shade. <laughs>